What up, Baganian family? Welcome to the Baganian Insider. This is the latest news and updates on everything Orlando Pirates with me, Tevin. But today I'm talking about Banyana Banyana as they have just made history for the country as they were facing Italy on their last group game in the FIFA World Cup for, for the women. They just made history being the first team to qualify for the round of 16 ever in South Africa as they've beaten the boys. So in their lineup, they had Caitlin Swat, Nokomato, Bambanani Mbane from Sundowns, uh, Benge Kamede, Karabo Jamini, Labahang Ramalepe, Robin Mudeli, and Linda Mtalo. Tembi Katlana, Jermaine Siposenme, and Hilda Machai. That's how they set up uh, this is their starting lineup for the game against Italy. So they, they set up in a certain way that they were setting up in a 4, no, a 3-4-3 three, three formation to face Italy, meaning that Desiree Ellis was planning to win the game from the midfield. So... That's what he was planning for against Italy. So to avoid to avoid what? So that in defense in defense that they can't go through them through the middle, you know? Because when you're trying to win a game like this in this magnitude, she made sure that the the midfield will dominate the game. So in defense she she set up she set up a five four one. Making sure that the defense is compact, nothing goes through them. The problem is that in the first, in the first three, four, five minutes of the game, a mistake happened. I don't think it was a penalty personally, but with the new rules of the VAR, that if I touch you in the box and you fall, it's a penalty. One of the players made a mistake by touching a player. She falls in the in the in the in the in the in the eighteen yard box then it's a penalty now that south africa are unsettled in the first few minutes they can't set up properly they are trying to understand what's going on so they are trying not to be shaken by the whole situation you know so it made sure that uh the defense is so deep in the box that nothing goes through over there over the players so in attack their focus, their focus point, their focal point was a Tembi Katlan, meaning that she was the one gonna be taking the ball, making making uh, forward runs in the box of Italy, with the help of Linda, you know, and with Jermaine being on the on the left or on the right, helping her with the crosses to run into if Italy closes the the the, the channels for them to get through balls, you know. So, Robin' position was basically on as a pivot to help the the defense if there's a counter attack, but mostly as a pivot, so that Linda can push forward and the the right wing and the left wing can push forward, even though they were playing left wing back and right wing back, you know. So that's how they set up in the attack. So in the attack, when they are attacking and in the ball in front of them, they had seven players in the Italian box making sure that they win every second ball, trying to win every second ball, you know? So, it it shows the intent of Desiree Ellis from the start. She was trying to win the ball, the ball, the ball early because they were set up in a way that um, Tempe was the one pressing, was the first in, initiate. When she initiates the press, uh, Linda follows, uh, Jermaine follows, and Hilda follows, you know? That they block, if she's going to attack the keeper, that means now Robin has to come in, meaning that the left wings and the left wing backs and the right wing back push up so that there is no there is no way the keeper can give the ball. There is no one the keeper can give the ball to. Understand? So the the problem with this type of formation was that the challenges that South Africa was facing is that whenever the South Africa was pressing, Italy was just throwing the balls through the. Uh, through the midfield over the defenders, you know, because they have pressed up so high to win the second ball. But guess what? Italy was going through over them every single time, every single time. It was 
balls over the defense, balls over the defense. So which was a very challenging situation for Desri, you know? Guys, I want to talk about the players, each and every one of them individually. Caitlin Swart. Desri Ellis said about her that the reason why she chose her over Dlamini is because she can use her legs. And her passing completion is higher than Dlamini's passing completion. Yes, you can tell that she favours her feet more over the, her hands as a as a goalkeeper. But it seems like it's been um, a FIFA World Cup trend where keepers are mostly based on their feet, which is the new thing in football. But you could tell, even if you look at most of the penalties, majority of the penalties that were taken, none of the keepers dived who are trying to save the ball with their feet. Which also that what she did. Her one of her brilliant saves were through her feet. Both of her saves were through her feet. Italy almost scored, but guess what? She saved a ball through her feet. That's one thing that she did. Now I wanna talk about no I wanna talk about Nokumato, right? Noku veteran defender in our team. Being I think she's like thirty seven years old. Thirty seven or forty seven. Between the 37, 47 year old defender that is in our team taking over from our former captain. She comes in to solidify the defense, making sure that it does not panic in those situations. But guess what? She didn't start the tournament. You know, she didn't start the tournament. It's, you know, you could tell that she was not that confident in the beginning. She was not as confident. She was not as confident. You could tell that in the first five minutes of the game, she was not confident. But the game came to South Africa. You know? The game came to South Africa. Also, I want to talk about Mambani uh, Mbani. Great defender. Great defender. She reads the game, tried to play on the front foot, which sometimes made her, made her make a lot of mistakes. Meaning that she will run onto a striker trying to make sure to destabilize the striker, then the striker will just swiftly move behind her and then she'll have to chase, which made her cause a lot of fouls. Which is not a bad thing. The breaking of play actually helped out South Africa. And then credit to Mbane. I don't want to give her. Bonke Kamede. Invisible in the field. Invisible. You can't tell, but the work she does, it's, you can tell. You don't know. You could her work was and was going unnoticed, but she was doing so much for the team. You know, she was supporting the uh, the the wing backs because remember I said Desiree Ellis was trying to play through, uh, was making sure that the, the it's compact in the middle that they are forced to go wide. Whenever uh, Ramalepa goes wide, she's there. You know, whenever Karawa Lamine goes wide, she's there. So when Bongega work is it goes unnoticed she did a lot of work for south africa and it helped them out this this girl is a oh man she's a top class top class left wing right back top class she's top class in the next coming few years ah come on guys she's gonna be something else she got frizzled i think she's the one who caused the first penalty she got frizzled and then it messed up the whole game. Like the whole first, it, she wanted the, the the half to finish in after that penalty. She wanted the half to finish. It messed with her game, but she came back. I know, I know. I think when after the first half time, she came back. Linda, ah, guys, Linda is, she did some, not through her passing, but through her movement. She was doing some very Iniesta movement. You know, her passing. Come on, guys. Come on. Linda is is top class. Top class. Hilda. Hilda, if you don't... Hilda is one of those players where you need to support her to play. With her. She plays in half spaces. She plays in triangles. She plays in patterns. That's, if you want to get the best out of Hilda, play in patterns. Because once South Africa got the ball in, the, in their position and they had the position of the ball, Hilda was was bright like you know when someone is bright in the in the game hilda was bright whenever south africa was in position hilda was bright she's not the greatest defensive in defense but in 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 oh come on guys in in forward she's amazing 
we could see that she had something to prove. And being the the lady that scored two goals in the FCON for us to get FCON. So you could tell that she's top class. Jermaine. Jermaine got tired of pressing. Jermaine got tired of pressing. At one point, you could tell that she was tired. I think maybe because she played all the games, but I think the game got to her at one point that she was tired. But the moments when we needed her, she showed up. That's the beautiful thing. Whenever she got the ball, the problem I had, personally, it's a personal problem I had, whenever she received the ball, she slowed the game down. You know? And if you understand that Timby, how Timby plays, Timby is a, is a, is a, is a, She's a an, she's an attacker, so she's a she has speed in her side. So whenever she passes the ball, she expects it back to her very quickly. So with Jermaine, she'll receive the ball on the wing. She will not do a one-two pass. She'll try to hold it, make too many touches, and then lose the ball. You know. So coming to Tim Bikata, ah, oh, come on, you can tell that she's being coached wherever she's playing. You can tell that her movement is is proper. Like her movement in in the front line is proper. The way she she messes with defense, the 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 own goal that the Italy scored is because of her pressing. You know, she's been pressing because we she's been pressing the whole game. You know, in the first half she was pressing, she was pressing, she was pressing. She stopped pressing for a few minutes where Italy would hit the ball, and then the moment Italy played back the ball to the trying to play back to the keeper, she pressed. And guess what? One of the defenders of Italy, guess what? She just heard uh, Timbi coming and then tried to pass the keeper. Guess what? The keeper was out of the box and was an own goal. Her pressing really helped out South Africa in this game. Guys, that's all I wanted to share with you about the game. Um, Wonderful. Certain players, you can tell, you know. Our next game is against uh, Netherlands. I don't, I don't know. It's gonna play in four a.m. Yeah, four a.m. games. Oh, New Zealand, in Australia. But yeah, that was a wonderful, wonderful match. It was a very encouraging match. Um, let's leave. I don't want to talk about politics about it. So, but they deserve, they deserve everything. They're gonna get one million from this, for just qualifying for the round of sixteen. One million each. Guys, come on. If they go to the next round, that's I think one point five each, and so guys, we're not even talk- this money piles up. It's not oh you got here and then no, it piles up. They get five, they go one. That's one point five. If they get one point five, that's like two, uh, three three million. If they go guys, 